Hello, family. Good morning. And welcome to your week of miracles. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. God is so awesome in all that he does. Hallelujah. I'm just super excited and expectant for what it is that the Spirit of God is going to do in our midst today, how he's going to move powerfully in our midst. I'm so thankful um, for all the miracles that are continuing to pour in. We are now close to 1,100 uh, miracles and testimonies that have come in. Good morning. Hey, Adese, God bless you. Good morning. Hey, Sylvester. Good morning. God bless you. Hey, Prophet Amzi. Good morning. Y'all follow Prophet Amzi. Um, if you do not, I was reading his book last night and it was so powerful. Amzi White is his, uh, is his, uh, uh, if you type in Amzi White on Facebook, you can actually go to his page and uh, follow him. He does the daily broadcast, right, Prophet? He does the daily broadcast and he just released a book and I got it. It's on Amazon. What is it called? Tell us the name of the book and uh, and so people can go ahead and purchase it. It was really powerful. We're talking about purity in the prophetic. I was like, my God, do we need that topic? <laughs> it was awesome. I was like, we need that topic desperately. Hey, Crystal, God bless you. Hey, Amy, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Taj. Hey, sis, God bless you. We're praying for your father. Uh, we're praying for you uh, as you uh, as you grieve the, the passing on or the going home of your father. Uh, hey, Amy Rogers, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, beautiful Amy. <laughs> I saw your GIF on there. <laughs> you have me screaming, Amy. <laughs> hey, Pastor Michael. Good morning. Welcome, 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 everybody. Hey, Crystal. I love you. God bless you. Good morning. Um, Y'all pray strength in my voice this morning. I believe that God wants to release something spectacular in our midst. Of course, as usual, uh, the Lord redirected my message. I was going to talk about breaking the power of delay. Hey, Sandra. Good morning. Yes. Uh, Prophet Amzi's broadcast is uh, Monday through Friday, every 6 a.m. So y'all jump on there and join him. Amzi White. Uh, type in your first and last name, Prophet, so they can follow you. Uh, uh, I've been feeding off of his uh, his messages, his word. He's been talking about transition, and it's been powerful. Prayers and governing priests is the name of the book. Check it out on Amazon. Hallelujah. Hey, uh, Krisha, God bless you. <coughs> Good morning. Hey, from India, God bless you. Hey, from Sarasota. Sarasota, I hope I said that right. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I can feel the excitement in the room. Hey, Linda. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to your week of miracles. Hey, Brad. Somebody has a birthday in about what? Two days? Three days? <laughs> the 10th? Brad's birthday is coming up. Everybody say happy birthday, Brad. Hallelujah. God is good. And so I'm excited this morning. We'll pray for you at the end. God bless you. I'm excited. Oh, thank you, Krisha. I'm trying to look like you. Krisha says I look pretty. I'm trying to look like my sister, Krisha. Hey, what, what, what do we got to do? <laughs> Hallelujah. God is awesome. I found excitement in my spirit. Yes, MZY. Go ahead and follow him if you do not. Hallelujah. And uh, join his broadcast and be blessed. Amen. And so, um, Let's jump right into the word. As you jump on this morning, I want you to type out, this is my season of sudden surprises and unexpected blessings. The Lord switched my message around. I was going to talk about breaking the power of delay. Hey, Amy, I can feel the excitement in the room. Hallelujah. Good morning, Sandra. Sandra is my, was my best friend from high school. Isn't that awesome when your best friend from high school still likes you? <laughs> Y'all didn't like, you know, cuss each other out and just, you know, have a full, you know, knock, knock, out, knock down, drag out, you know, session and just, you know, not be friends anymore. Sandra was my best friend in high school and uh, we're still friends. Hallelujah. That's always a good thing. <laughs> hey, Sandra. Good morning. God bless you. Hey, from Tennessee. Tennessee is home for me right now. God bless you. All right. So as you jump on this morning, hey, Ruva. Ruva has joined us, y'all. We have to restart the broadcast. Hallelujah. <laughs> Love you, Ruva. Hey, Jason. God bless you. As you jump on this morning, yes, happy birthday, Brad. Hey, Jacqueline, love you. Let me take a moment to greet everybody. Hey, Ryan Hernandez, good morning. God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. As you jump on, I want you to type out, this is my season for sudden surprises. Yes, thank you for sharing. Uh, Vivian Chatter, good morning, sister. Love you. Cleo. God bless you. Love you. Highly favored of God. Ebet, I cannot wait to see you in Daytona. Uh, by the way, y'all, if you are in the Daytona, Florida area, we are ministering. Uh, I'll, I will be there in early of January, and I cannot wait to meet you. So if you are in the Daytona, Florida area, I want to meet you. Uh, so if you would love to come and hang with us, uh, it's at the Daytona Convention Center. Uh, we have a conference. We are believing for a powerful move of God to take place. 
Oh, I'll be leaving. Yes, always great to see you. I'll be leaving for God to move powerfully. So uh, come out and say hi to us. Come out and see us. Thank you for sharing the broadcast, Eba. Y'all can feel free to share the broadcast at any point. I want to release the word of the Lord to you this morning. And, uh, and, and so as you jump on, if you have not already, go ahead and type out after you share the broadcast. Type out, this is my season of unexpected surprises. <laughs> Thank you, Ruva. God bless you. Now, Mary was having a very normal day. There are many of you right now you have been expecting, you have been believing God for promises that have been a long time in coming. As a matter of fact, the Lord spoke to me that delay was going to break in December. There are many of you that are standing at the brink of your breakthrough. You're standing at the brink of your harvest. Hallelujah. The word of God spoke about the children of Israel. Now come back to Mary in a second. Spoke about the children of Israel and said that they were right there. <laughs> they were 40 days to their promise, but they continued to go around the same wilderness. They continued to go around the same mountain. Finally, the Lord came to them and the Lord said, you have been around this mountain long enough. He says, break camp and move. Hallelujah. And so I believe in Jesus' powerful name um, that there's somebody watching. It seems like you are being maybe in certain cycles, in certain seasons. And the Lord is saying this morning, you have been around this mountain long enough. Hallelujah. That this week, that there is a, there is a, there is a release from heaven that is going to catapult you into destiny. Hallelujah. And what I heard God say, the reason I use the word unexpected is because I heard the spirit of God say that it's going to be beyond anything you can ask or imagine. Hallelujah. So type it out one more time. It's my season of sudden surprises. Glory to God. The word of God says, call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. So here within the next few minutes, we're going to begin to call upon the Lord. Lord, I believe that this is an hour of answers in the name of Jesus. And as we call upon the Lord, we're going to see him do the exceedingly. We're going to see him do the abundantly. We're going to see him do above anything that we can ask or think in Jesus' powerful name. Are you ready? Are you ready? If you're ready this morning, type out, I'm ready. Hey, Kelly, love you, sis. Type out, I'm ready. Hey, money, good to see you. And so Mary was having a very normal day. She was planning her wedding. Young girl engaged to be married, planning her wedding. And then suddenly, hey, Prophet Elaine, God bless you. Suddenly, hallelujah, somebody just type out all capital letters. Suddenly. Because I believe that for some of you watching, that there's some suddenly, sorry, there's lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> Let me take that out. There's some suddenlies about to take place in your life. So Mary was having a very normal day. She was planning her wedding and suddenly the unexpected happened. I heard the spirit of God say that, that some of you walked in this morning. Somebody said they had a dream last night of 333. I've been seeing that as well. They had a, uh, uh, somebody walked in this morning. You're, you'll be having a very normal day. And you're suddenly going to shift into a realm of destiny that you have never accessed before. I was praying for you on Saturday and I went into this vision and I saw this woman who was out to here, so pregnant. Actually, the Lord has been speaking to me about birthing. Hallelujah. And it's all tying into my message. I know it seems like I'm dancing around a little bit. The Lord has been, hey, Miss Teresa, God bless you. The Lord has been speaking to me about birthing. At the beginning of September, the eve of the ninth month, I had a dream. And since then, the Lord has been speaking to me about you that you're about to give birth. In my dream, I was driving this car with, with a couple of my friends. And all of a sudden, I was standing at crossroads. I was standing at a crossroad. Is there anybody this morning that is at a crossroads? I was standing, hey AJ man, I have all these high school friends watching this morning, good to see you, hallelujah, God is awesome, and so in my dream, I was standing at this crossroad, and suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood before me, and the angel of the Lord, hey Heidi, love you, the angel of the Lord said to me, as surely as the Lord lives, you are going to have a baby, hallelujah, 
right now. When we think about a baby, some of you might be saying the natural I bind you, Agnes. I ain't trying to believe for a child. I already have five babies, and it's just it's, it's, it's challenging enough, and it's a blessing. <laughs> I'm not necessarily talking about a natural child. Hallelujah. I'm not necessarily talking about a natural child. If you're believing for a natural child, you can take it. But I heard the Spirit of God say that the body of Christ, that many have experienced seasons of barrenness that have lasted for way too long. Hallelujah. That in this season, as surely as the Lord lives, you're going to give back to that which is going to exceed your expectation. You're going to give back, back to something that is going to be jaw dropping like, wow. Hallelujah. And for those believing God for a child in the natural you can also tap into that on the broadcast family. We've had six miracles um, through the ministry of people who could not have children. And the Lord gave just within the last year, we've had five. And then total, we've had six. So if you are believing God for a child in the natural, you have a loved one, you can also tap into that word. That the miracle working power of God is here. I'm here to speak to your impossibility. I'm here to speak to those who have been contending for a long time. For the manifestation of their promise. Hallelujah. So I want to talk really briefly about two women this morning. I want to talk about Elizabeth and I want to talk about Mary. Now Elizabeth had been contending for many years. And here's the thing family. Elizabeth did nothing wrong. There's somebody watching this morning. You've done all you know to do. You've sold. You've tied. You've given in the offering. You 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 pray. Hallelujah. You've served in church. <laughs> you've done what it is that God told you to do. Yet it seems like your promise has not manifested yet. Can I talk to you for a second this morning about Elizabeth? She had done all she knew to do <clears throat> in the natural, but it seemed like her promise had not manifested yet. But one day, suddenly, hallelujah, can somebody who, who, who is just certain this morning that this is going to be the week of suddenly, I want you to type out suddenly, hallelujah. So Elizabeth was having a normal day. Zechariah was having a normal day. They have been believing God for a promise. They have been believing God for the impossible because actually in the natural, they did not have the capacity to conceive that somebody watching this morning that is believing. Believing God for the impossible, the name of this broadcast, the name of my broadcast on Monday morning on Facebook is called Your Week of Miracles. Now, I like to pray over your light bill. I like to pray that, you know, your power gets turned back on. But I really, this morning, I really, my mandate is really to address impossibilities. My mandate is to come before you, hallelujah, to build an altar, that we can build an altar and we can touch heaven concerning the things that humanly speaking it is impossible because the Lord said in his word that humanly speaking it may be impossible but not with God because with God all things are possible and so Zechariah was experiencing an impossibility Elizabeth was experiencing an impossibility but suddenly hey Rebosan. you know what I love that scripture I love that scripture because it says and I believe that scripture was looking into time was looking into the future and one of the people they were speaking about was about us on this broadcast because here's what it said it said in the hour where the people gathered to pray in the hour where the people gathered to burn incense hallelujah suddenly the angel of the lord appeared this morning we are gathered to pray this morning we are gathered to touch heaven this morning we are gathered to come upon the name of the king of kings and the lord of lords so i don't know that anybody now if it doesn't apply to you uh it's okay you can just pray for us <laughs> hallelujah is there anybody watching this morning who is believing for an impossibility is there anybody watching let me just know I'm speaking to the right crowd or maybe I need to switch out the message well I'm not going to switch it out it's what God said to preach is there anybody watching this morning believing God for an impossibility the word of God says that Zechariah was in the temple. He was in. He was about to go in to offer sacrifice. 
Many of you have offered sacrifices before the Lord for many years, but you have not seen barrenness break. But I believe that this was a key. It says the people gathered and they were praying outside. They were praying right there. So I believe that now it's not written there, but this is what I believe. The Lord, the Lord highlighted it to me one day. And he said, the power of agreement will break impossibility and release your breakthrough. If you'd love to, I'll just jump on back in. The power of agreement, hallelujah, the power of agreement, even this morning, will break impossibility and release breakthrough. Now, there might be something you're contending for that you may have believed God for for a very long time. But I heard the Spirit of God say that the power of agreement, hallelujah, will break impossibility and release breakthrough. Is there anybody believing God for an impossibility this morning? I want you to give me a heads up emoji. I want you to give me a heads up emoji because the spirit of breakthrough is here. I'm talking to those who has received a negative doctor's report. I'm talking to those who feel like they've been in the hole financially for a long time. I'm talking to those this morning who are contending for their marriages. I'm talking to those this morning who are standing on behalf of their children. Is there anybody this morning cut? Tending for a breakthrough. Thank you, Jessica, for sharing. Hallelujah. Y'all can feel free to share. The power of God is heavy. I'm going to have us really do this really quickly before I move on on the broadcast just because I don't want to interrupt what the Spirit of God is doing. His presence is so heavy in this place. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. If you can pray in English, I want you to begin to pray in English. But I want us to all do this as a family before we move on on the broadcast this morning. The word of God says that a, a liberal, a generous soul shall be shall be made fat, and he that waters will be watered himself. Now, a way to show generosity this morning is simply just sharing the broadcast. I want you this morning, all 109 of us watching, the presence of God is coming really heavy on me, and I don't want to interrupt the broadcast later on to announce this. But all, all 108 of us watching, I always say there are 2 billion people on Facebook. So this morning, I want you to sow the broadcast as a seed. And I want you to tell God as you're sowing the broadcast, I'm sowing this broadcast as a seed into somebody's life. And I know that I'm going to receive my harvest. Hallelujah. So I want us all to do this as a family before we move on. I have a word I want to release this morning about your breakthrough. But before we do that this morning, I want you all to go ahead and to the left of your screen. Click on the share button, hallelujah, share the broadcast, and after you share the broadcast, type out hashtag shared. The reason why I say, why, that's why you said to do that, the reason why I said that is when people see you shared it, then it encourages them to want to share it. So if I can just see right now, 114 on the screen, hashtag shared, hallelujah, so share the broadcast and sow it as a seed into somebody else's life. Thank you, Prophet Elaine, for sharing. It's so good to see you. We need to catch up. Thank you, Jacqueline, for sharing. I have a word I want to release, and I'm going to begin in here in a second share it to the groups that you are a part of share it to the pages thank you susan that you're a part of somebody uh go ahead and do a watch party if you have you know friends on your page that could use a word of breakthrough so many people especially during the holidays especially during the end of the year are experiencing discouragement if you know somebody on your page doing a dis uh, that is discouraged to me i don't want you to just share the broadcast i want you to do a watch party i think it's to the right you can click on just click on watch party hallelujah and I as you do that, it'll actually be hosting on your page so that your friends, your family can watch. Hallelujah. Thank you, uh, Vivian, for sharing the broadcast. God bless you. Thank you, Paige, for sharing the broadcast. Hallelujah. Thank you, Linda, for sharing the broadcast. God bless you. Thank you, uh, Coralie, for sharing. Hallelujah. Josh, good morning, my brother. Y'all follow Josh. If you do not, thank you, uh, Jackie Smith Knight, for sharing. Leah, thank you for sharing the broadcast. God bless you. Hallelujah. Y'all keep sharing, keep sharing. Hallelujah. Let's all go invade the social media as an army to break depression, to release breakthrough, glory to God. 
Y'all, sorry. Let's just a little bit of lipstick on my teeth. That's what I'm trying to get up. All right, share. Yeah, you can share five times. Christina shared it twice. Who is doing a watch party? Type out watch party. If you're doing a watch party this morning, type out watch party. You can feel free to tag me in the watch party. Hallelujah. Yes, welcome, Priscilla. I have a word I want to relate to you. Welcome, Candy. God bless you. Glory to God. If you're doing a watch party, Type out watch party. Chad, thank you for sharing the broadcast. God bless you. Yes, hallelujah. God, somebody's mad because I'm telling people to share. Jesus told us to share. Hallelujah. He said, go into all the world and preach. Glory to God. And so it's scriptural. Amen. So Nicole, thank you for sharing the broadcast. God bless you. We're going to jump into the word here in a second. Blesses Eve, grow up family. God bless you. Yes, watch party. Hallelujah. Prophet Aretha, I love you. Good morning. Hey, Kelly. I think I already said hi to Kelly. God bless you, Prophet Aretha. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. Glory to God. So as we, after we share the broadcast this morning, yeah, thank you, River, for sharing. After you share the broadcast, man, I want you to begin to welcome Holy Spirit. His power is so heavy. Thank you for watching from Kentucky. God bless you. Now, I believe this morning, like I said, hey, EJ, work family, love you so much. I believe this morning that, that God wants to do the impossible. Ah, Rama Mama Sata. I believe this morning that God wants to do the impossible in our midst. Thank you, Tammy, for sharing. God bless you. Ha, ah, the power of God is already moving. The presence of God is already moving. The spirit of God is already moving. And so as as we as we go in this morning, let's just welcome Holy Spirit. So everybody type out welcome Holy Spirit after you share the broadcast. Or if you're doing a watch party, hallelujah, type out, welcome Holy Spirit, welcome Holy Spirit, welcome Holy Spirit, I cannot do this without you. Family, we now have over uh, almost 1,100 testimonies and miracles that have taken place on the broadcast. We have seen cancer healed. We've seen thyroid issues healed. We have not celebrated almost $6 million in financial testimonies, uh, just Almost five million just within the last year alone. We've seen families restored. We've seen marriages restored. We've seen people that the doctor said could not have children. They became pregnant. Hallelujah. And so I feel the seriousness of the Spirit of God in this place this morning. And so we just ask you, sweet Holy Spirit, to have your way. Right now, family, I feel a strong spirit of intercession this morning. And so as you welcome Holy Spirit, I want you to begin to touch heaven. I want you to begin to petition heaven. We welcome the breaker. We welcome the God of the breakthrough. I thank you God for miracle working power to begin to move in the lives of your people. To begin to move upon the broadcast. Even this morning, Kandre Bebe Shikara Baba Baksata, in the name of Jesus. The word I'm hearing in my spirit is an explosion. There's about to be an explosion. Hallelujah. Of sudden surprises. There's about to be an explosion of miracle working power. Rot Sheke manifested in this place this morning. Ga Robo Shekere Boksa Tindreske Durieska Derieska Durashke Leba Sindre Bekeye. God, I thank you for this altar of answer. God, I thank you, God. We stand before the courts of heaven and we thank you, God, that you will move mightily in the realm of impossibilities this morning. God, I love you. Everybody just type out, God, I love you. God, I love you. God, I love you. Hallelujah. So, this morning, good morning and welcome to your week of miracles. Make sure you share the broadcast if you have not yet. And then I want you to type out one more time. If you just joined us, I want you to type out. <coughs> I'm stepping into my season of sudden surprises and unexpected blessings. Then I want you to type out, this is my moment for a breakthrough. So first of all, I want you to type out in agreement. And if you can declare it, I want you to declare it. Welcome, Karen. God bless you. <clears throat> type out, I'm stepping into my season of sudden surprises and unexpected blessings. And then I want you to type out, this is my moment for a breakthrough. I always love to talk about the children of Israel. They have been in the wilderness for 40 years. They were actually 40 days 
away from their promise. But they were ro- they were going around and around. <clears throat> Is there anybody watching this morning that feels like you have been going around and around in a cycle? Around and around in the, in the financial cycle, around and around in the cycle. Hey Sandra, go bless. Oh, I already said hi to Sandra. Go bless you. Around and around in the family cycle, around and around in the cycle concerning your health. I heard the Spirit of God say this morning, just like He said to the children of Israel, "You have been around this mountain long enough." I am a mama Santa de Bosa. I feel so strongly in my spirit. Is there somebody watching who is feeling discouraged? Because maybe you stepped into 2019 and you thought, this is it. This is my year. This is the day where my story changes. This is my year of a turnaround. And now the end of the year is coming and you haven't seen it happen yet. Hey, Sylvia, I love you. But I heard the Spirit of God say that better is the end of a thing than the beginning. As surely... As the Lord lives, I feel the power of God this morning. Welcome as you join, go ahead and share the broadcast. God bless you. I feel the presence of God so heavy this morning. Somebody watching this morning actually cried last night. Who is that that just felt really heavy? I want you to give me a hands up emoji because I want to pray over you. I don't want to pray that it just, I don't want to just pray that the heaviness breaks. I want to pray that the thing that is causing you to be heavy will be answered. Can you imagine? I was going to talk this morning about Elizabeth. Elizabeth had been buried for so long. Hey, Temple, God bless you. Elizabeth had been buried for so long. Elizabeth will step into each year. Elizabeth will probably be prophesying, this is my year. This is the year of my breakthrough. This is the year where I will finally have my baby. I feel in my spirit this morning so strongly that there is somebody watching. That that you have been believing God for a promise. And at the beginning of 2019, you said, oh... This is my year of manifestation. Somebody said they cried last night. Now, I don't want to just pray to break depression. I don't want to just pray this morning to address what you have been feeling and sensing. I want to pray this morning that that which has caused you. This is what I hear the Spirit of God say. I will dry your secret tears. That which has caused you to to, to, to rubu shakarabasa. I heard a preacher say this week that 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 your circumstances I'm, and I'm kind of paraphrasing. The preacher said your circumstances may have mocked you, but keep praising because God is about to make you. Ah, lebrengeleba niriosku keriama zelebans libakaya. I'm praying in the Holy Ghost. If you can pray right now, I want you to begin to pray. Your circumstances may have mocked you, but keep praising because God is about to make you. I don't know what area of your life that has been the object of mockery. I don't know what area of your life. I don't know about Sutarabasa, Kaya La Mandela Basia. That the enemy has come and said, Well, you said it was going to happen in 2016, it didn't happen. Can I just speak to somebody this morning that has been feeling a little bit discouraged? And the enemy came to you and even said compromise. The enemy said, you don't take all that. The enemy said, you've been serving God. The enemy said to you, and when you said, this is my season. The enemy said, but you said that in 2012. But you said that in 2015. I thought you said that in 2017, but you said that in 2018, God didn't come through for you. Is there anybody that has been experiencing that this morning? But I hear the spirit of God say that whatever has been an area of mockery, that keep praising because God is about to make you. God is about to turn the mockery into a miracle. I just heard that. Ha. Glory to God. Can Mary God bless you? 
jump on. Go ahead and share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Let's get the room packed. Oh, rub, 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 shake. I know somebody on your page. This is not my saying sharing just to make us look good, but somebody on your page needs to hear this morning that God is changing their mockery to a miracle. share the broadcast hallelujah this blessing you shared if you have not let's let people know do a watch party i have a word i want to release i'm not gonna keep you up no i still i'm, I'm i was gonna say i'm not gonna keep you too long but i still want to i want to i want to speak a little bit that the spirit of god is heavy upon me this morning <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I want you to type it out this morning if you believe that you are about to step into breakthrough. Hallelujah. I want you to type out this is my moment for breakthrough. Family, this is this is why this is burning so heavy in my spirit. I, I, I was I had a dream recently. And in my dream, I saw why there was a celebration going on. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> there was a celebration going on. There was about to be this huge event take place. And I lifted up my voice like a trumpet. I didn't say it low. I began to announce, and I'm paraphrasing. I said, for me and those who are believing for God to give breakthrough. That's awesome, Mary. Hey, Jenny, God bless you. They were, they were having this event going on. <coughs> and suddenly... I lifted up my voice and I began to prophesy in the dream. And I said, for me, and I'm paraphrasing, okay? For me and those believing God for a breakthrough, this is yours. No, I, said, I said, it's breakthrough season. It's breakthrough season. It's breakthrough season. It's breakthrough season. Somebody type it out if you believe it. It's breakthrough season. It's not an accident you're watching this morning. It's breakthrough season. Let me talk to you for a couple of minutes about Zechariah and then we're going to begin to pray. The presence of God is so heavy on this place. Zechariah was having a very normal day. 
Zechariah was doing what he has always done. I heard the Spirit of God said this morning, there are many that have sown in tears. There are many that you are, you are doing all you know to do. Ah, Tiffany, God bless you. Love you, sister. Tiffany, there's a strong prophetic anointing upon your life. Hallelujah. I might do some what I call shotgun prophecies this morning. I might just give one word prophecies to people as they jump on. As you jump on the broadcast, go ahead and share it. God bless you. Welcome. Hallelujah. It's breakthrough season. That's right. Everybody just type it out on capital letters, family. And if you can begin to pray, I want you to pray. Now, here's the thing about Zechariah and Elizabeth. Elizabeth had been, and Zechariah, they, 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 were, they were not, they were not in sin. Ha. Huh. Family, there are many watching this morning. It's nothing you've done wrong. But you say, God, 2019 was a difficult year. Is there anybody watching this morning that 2019 was a difficult year? It's not that you fell into sin. It's not that you stopped going to church. It's not that you will, willfully did anything wrong. But you experienced heavy opposition. And I heard the Spirit of God say, you even, you saw your promise right there. But there was giants in front of it. Thank you, Lane, for sharing the broadcast. Zechariah and Elizabeth had been through many difficult years. Can you imagine? She was now so, so advanced in age that she didn't even have the capacity to conceive. But this is what the Lord just said to me, family. <laughs> Elizabeth had a twofold problem. But really, there was about to be a double breakthrough release upon Elizabeth's life. Elizabeth could not conceive. She was bearing. And Elizabeth had passed the age of childbearing. Is there somebody watching this morning that has a complicated issue? That you are saying, if it was just this, it will be fine. But there's this issue. Then there's that issue. Then there's that issue. And I hear the Spirit of God say, there's about to be a torrent, a heavy flow of answers to prayers released to you, unlocked to you in the name of Jesus. Let me go to Mary for a second. So Mary is a young girl. Mary in the natural, because she was not married, could not conceive. Now, I don't want to go into a whole biology class this morning, but how many of y'all know that in the natural, if you have not been with a man, you cannot give birth. All right. I don't need to explain any further. We just leave it right there. Hallelujah. Mary was about to be given an impossible task. A task. Yes. Yeah, somebody started a watch party. Who else is doing a watch party? Type out watch party or capital letters. Mary was about to be given a task. That was impossible. Thank you, Prophet Aretha. She said, I know, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Mary was about to be given a task that was impossible. I heard the Spirit of God say that there's somebody watching this morning. The manifestation of your miracle has seemed impossible. And the manifestation of your purpose has seemed impossible. So it sounds like a cute little Christmas story. But Mary is having a normal day. Hallelujah. She's planning her wedding. And then said, yeah, Mary, I believe you're stepping into break. If you just joined us, welcome. Go ahead and share the broadcast. I'm going to speak to you for about five more minutes. And then we're going to begin to touch heaven. We're already touching heaven, but we're going to begin to release a sound to unlock our breakthrough. Glory to God. God bless you, Prophet David. Mary was having a very normal day. Mary was planning her wedding. We're speaking this morning about unexpected. Suddenly, the unexpected happened. Luke 1 verse 30 says, I'm just not getting into my word, just in case you were wondering. I'm going to speak for about five more minutes. April, thank you for doing a watch party. Who else is doing a watch party? To do a watch party is real easy. Just click on the right of your screen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke 1.30 says, 
in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy. Now, I want you to know why I love this scripture is because Mary and Elizabeth were cousins. And so what I heard the Spirit of God say is that the breakthrough coming upon your life is going to unlock breakthrough in the lives of others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Type it out if you believe it. Whoo, shout out. Christian, I'm hearing this word for you. I hear the Spirit of God say, and y'all, by the way, follow Krisha if you do not. I think she's about to release some yearly journals. Krisha, tell us what the Lord is doing right now through your ministry. I want them to follow you. Krisha Bowen, hallelujah. Krisha Sarah Bowen. Uh, uh, the Lord said, see as thou a man diligent in his work. He will stand before kings. He will not stand before ordinary men. I see doors opening to you. I was just seeing the White House. When you hit like, I just saw that. I saw those type of mega doors opening to you. That's why the battle has been so tough. But you're not going to break down, sister. You're going to break through. There's about to be a relief. I see you just lay before your face and saying, God, is this ever going to end? Um, help is on the way, Christian. Your whole life is about to change. I feel a spirit of prophecy in the room. Hey, Tamisha, I love you. Your whole life is about to change. Hallelujah. Prophet Elaine, I see that for you as well. I don't know if the Lord has been speaking to you about a book. But I hear the Lord say that there's about to be a mega suddenly. Just a, a, a momentous, uh, 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 in a moment, mega change take place in your life. So Mary was having a very normal day. She's planning her wedding. And suddenly, the unexpected happened. Luke 1 verse 30. Hey, you know, son, God bless you, my brother from Nigeria. God bless you and your family. Luke 1 verse 30 says, In the sixth month, now I was just speaking early on about Elizabeth. How the Lord, the Lord, the power of God broke barrenness and caused her to become pregnant. Hallelujah. <coughs> Luke 1 verse 30 says, In the sixth month of Elizabeth, pregnancy the angel Gabriel came to Nazareth let me just pause there and say to someone watching that I've been crying out to God for help help is on the way type it out on capital letters. hey Miss, I love you sis type it out on capital letters this morning if you believe it help is on the way call Robobosa. Somebody has been crying out and saying, God, I need help. If you just joined us, welcome. God bless you. Share it, share it, share it. Hallelujah. Hold on. So I'm almost done preaching and then we're going to begin to pray and access our miracles. Help is on the way. Glory to God. Angels. Agnes, how can you tie that into angels? The book of Hebrew describes angels as ministering spirits. Yes, y'all follow Krisha. That's her name right there, Krisha Sarah Boy. The, 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 the book of Hebrews <coughs> describes angels as ministering spirits that are sent to serve you, to, that, are sent, that are sent to serve your God-ordained purpose and sent to re assist to release your God-ordained promise. As you begin your week, as you begin your best week yet, as you begin your week that is pregnant with sudden surprises, as you begin your week that is going to be infused with mega miracles, I prophesy to you that help is on the way. I declare that angels, that ministering spirits are released. To unlock your God ordained purpose. There's so many of you pregnant in the realm of the spirit this morning. I prophesy. If you can just lay hands on your belly for a second. I prophesy that your baby will come forth. I prophesy that your promise will come forth. I prophesy that your purpose will be unlocked. In the name of Jesus, I declare. Ah, right now, I activate them. Angels. I activate angels of breakthrough. I activate angels of healing coming to you. If you are sick in your body, or you have a loved one that is sick, I activate angels of supernatural provision being released to you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that 
that this is the beginning of the best days of your life. In the authority of Jesus' name. Uh, Taz, Raquel, I see divine partnerships. I see new relationships and new divine connections. Hallelujah. Here, level a specific new relationship that is going to catapult you into purpose. Taz is about to be released to you. And so Mary, it says in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel went to Mary. Angels are being released even right now as we speak. The angel said to her, the angel said to her, <laughs> Greetings, you who are highly favored. Can I prophesy to somebody watching? I heard a minister say many years ago that one day of favor, <clears throat> one day of favor, can give you more than a thousand days of labor. Ha! Shubran la manzele makia. Dori kaliara bababa sintrebe kie. Literally, I feel right now the substance of the favor of God. Iala ba kudre bakia. Ta paurie. Ta paurie. If y'all can pray in the Holy Ghost, the presence of God is moving so heavy. We're going to begin to pray in about three minutes. The angel said to her, Oh, greetings, you who are greatly favored of God. Tamisha, you are greatly favored of God. I want you to prophesy to somebody watching this morning. Tell them, Bria, you are greatly favored of God. Bria, I hear the Spirit of God say the financial, the financial burden is going to break. Ha, ah, Coralie, I hear the Spirit of God say it shall come to pass in that day. That his burden shall be taken off your shoulders and the yoke from off your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Ha, Rabba Kindre Bekia Labase. The evangelist saying they're believing God for open doors. I believe that this shall be a season of open doors. Can I see y'all prophesying over one another this morning? As you jump up, type out. Type out, type out. Just prophesy to somebody this morning. Say, Prophet Aretha, hallelujah, you have found favor with God. After you type out, you have found favor with God. I release the substance of favor. Tamisha, I see a book. Coming through you. I see a new business idea. 2020 is going to be a very good year for you, Tamisha. There's going to be 2020 vision. I even see new relationships coming to you. I'm seeing that for a lot of people. New covenant connections. Hallelujah. So Mary, Mary the angel, Mary was having a normal day, family. I'm almost done with the, with the preaching. Mary was having a very normal day and the angel came to her and said, you have found favor with God. Kelly cannot prophesy to you, girl. You have found favor with God. You are a daughter of destiny and the doors that are about to be unlocked to you, daughter of God. And the prophetic sound that is on the inside of you, the prophetic grace, the prophetic anointing is going to be unlocked and unleashed and released to a new level. Hallelujah. Everything that has tried to lock up your sound, Everything that has tried to choke out yourself, Kelly, hallelujah, right now, I break it, I break it, I break it. Family, right now, I'm feeling in my spirit that there are some daughters of destiny that are carrying a strong sound, but you have felt like there was something trying to constrict your voice. And I know that there are men watching this morning, but can I speak to the daughters of God for a second? I'm hearing the word daughters of destiny. Hallelujah. I just break up everything that has tried to choke your sound. Miss Jenny, there is a powerful sound that God has placed on the inside of you. Hallelujah. To even speak to those in government. God, even right now, I feel a breakthrough in the room. I break off, God, everything that has tried to, to hold. I see somebody watching this morning in a chokehold. The enemy has had you in a headlock. Because of the, 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 the massive opposition you've been facing. Ha. Right now we break the opposition. In the name of Jesus. I declare to over the sons of God watching this morning. Ha. 
Are there any sons of God watching this? Well, just give me a hands up emoji. I break off. Everything that has hindered your sound. I unlock the favor of God to break off everything that has hindered your sound in the name of Jesus. So he said, the angel came to Mary and said, you have found favor with God. I prophesy to somebody watching this morning that you have found favor with God. I love the translation that says, Oh, greatly favored of God. Ah, can I prophesy to April? Can I prophesy to Alexandra? Oh, to Linda, to Jenny, Miss Jenny. Oh, greatly favored of God. Can I prophesy to Jackie? Oh, greatly favored. Of God. Yes, you can type out. You can type out, I'm a daughter of destiny. You can type out, I'm a son of destiny. Hallelujah. I'm almost done and we're going to begin to pray. It says, Mary was greatly perplexed. Mary was greatly perplexed. I feel the power of God so strong. I hear the spirit of God say, that there is a perplexing level of favor that you're about to step into. You know the type of favor that confuses you that you're like, really me? Really? They sent for me? They asked about me? God gave me this? A perplexing level of favor. One of my favorite stories on earth is this kid, is a story of this kid, true story. My brother was sharing it with me. There's this thing they do in Africa, in my country. Well, I guess what you call it in America is barbecue, okay? That's the best I can describe it. But they do it like in the street corners. They sell it. They kind of do like a grill. And they sell it so you can buy it. And so this kid kept asking this gentleman. He was like, I want some barbecue. I want some barbecue. And he's just asking and asking. And the gentleman gave him a barbecue, a, a meat, probably a piece of meat about that big. And when he put it on the child's plate, the child started crying. Because the child was overwhelmed at the magnitude of the meat. Now here's the reason why I love that story. The Lord said to me about you, that there is something that he's about to release. Can I speak to somebody that has been waiting for a long time? Can I speak to somebody who is at the moment of giving up? Can I speak to somebody that is saying, oh, Agnes, it's coming to the end of 2019. I thought it was going to happen this year. If you just joined us, go ahead and share the broadcast. God bless you. Can I prophesy to you that a perplexing level of favor? It says Mary heard it and she was perplexed. A perplexing level of favor. It's coming upon your life. I'm going to take some time at the end of this broadcast to release a blessing to you. I literally have it written down. So make sure you stay till the end and I'm almost done. Hallelujah. Because within the next few, because the next few weeks are so pivotal. There's some of you watching. Within the next few weeks, there's something going to be unlocked in your life. And it's going to be the greatest manifestation of heaven that you have ever seen. Glory to God. The angel said to her, do not be afraid. You have found favor with God. Can I speak to somebody this morning that has been afraid? Hallelujah. You've been afraid because it's coming to the end of the year. You've been afraid because there are deadlines that are waiting. You've been afraid because it is the midnight hour and you need God to move. Hallelujah. Yes, we must go into the land. Hallelujah. Y'all can tap that out. I like that, Wendy. Thank you, Hannah, for sharing the broadcast. Hallelujah. Karabasute, Dibreske, Dolunska. I decree even a scary level of blessing. That's right, Susan. A scary level of blessing. Hallelujah. And this is what the angel said. I don't want to prophesy over you, family. I'm almost done. The angel said, You shall conceive and give birth to a child. 
Ye re be 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 zulu buku didi askka. I was listening this week to a testimony of a couple that have been believing God for a child for this. Hear me, twenty six years. I'm getting emotional. I'm getting touched in my emotions because I feel like this morning there's somebody who's watching you've been believing God for a long time and you actually stopped praying about it because it seems so impossible. I heard a testimony this week of somebody who had been believing God for 26 years of for a baby and God answered after 26 years. I need to let somebody know. Oh, wow, I didn't realize it was 22 days uh, apostle, a prophet laid. Hallelujah. I wanted to say apostle because there's an apostolic anointing upon your life. Glory to God. Can I prophesy to somebody watching? <coughs> yes, it will come before the deadline in Jesus' name. Can I prophesy to somebody watching this morning? Hey, Rabba Sata, that you are about. You are about to step into it. You are about to conceive and give birth. There are books. And this is what Mary said, family, and I'm almost done. Mary said to the angel, how can these things be? I don't know, man. There's somebody watching this morning. You're saying, Agnes, I don't know a human being in the natural that can help me with this. Agnes, I don't know a man. Agnes, I don't know a woman. Agnes, you don't understand. I've done everything I know to do. When the, when the angel gave Mary her promise, <coughs> Mary said, how is this going to happen? I don't know a man. Can anybody relate this morning? You're saying, Agnes, God showed me my promise. But I don't know a man. This is the key. And I'm about to unlock the key to you. And then I'm going to begin to release a blessing to you. This is the key, family. The angel said to her, The Spirit of God. Ah, can you begin to pray right now? The glory of God is heavy on this place. The angel said to her, The Spirit of God will come upon you. And the power of the Most High God shall overshadow you. Love you, Melinda. The angel said, the Spirit of God will come upon you. And the power of the Most High God will overshadow you. Right now, I want to begin to pray over you. And I believe that in the realm of the Spirit, there will be an overshadowing. But before we do that, family, all 168 of us watching right now, the presence of God is so heavy this morning. Before I pray over you, I want you to share this broadcast. Please don't keep this to yourself. If this broadcast has blessed you at all, we're about to move into a moment. Wow, the whole, the whole place looks blurry to me because the glory of God is so heavy. I want you to share the broadcast. If it's blessed you at all, here's the reason why. There's somebody in your page that needs a breakthrough. So all 168 of us watch, you can share it two and three times. All 168 of us watch, and I want everybody to share the broadcast. And after you share it, I want you to type out hashtag shared. And I want to begin to contend this morning for your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and share the broadcast. The word of God says, He that waters will also be watered himself. As you saw the broadcast as a key this morning, I declare a blessing that will be released to you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Karen, for sharing the broadcast. Yo corre bebe sindre ba la baron de le basi. Share to the group that you're a part of. Do a watch party because we're about to pray. I won't keep you too much longer, but family. I feel like this is going to be one of the most important moments of your year because there is about to be a substance of heaven released upon you. The angel said to Mary, Mary had an impossible task. The angel said to Mary, when she asked, how can these things be? The angel said, thank you all for sharing, God bless you. 
The angel said, here's the key, family. The angel said, the Spirit of God will come upon you. Thank you, Mary. The angel said, that's interesting. We have Mary watching and we've been preaching about Mary. Hallelujah. Isn't that prophetic? The angel said, the Spirit of God will come upon you. The angel said, the power of the Most High God will overshadow you. Right now, family, if you can be in a place where you are undistracted, I know some of you are getting your babies ready for school. Some of you are driving to work. But as undistracted as you can, because this moment is the moment of your answer. This moment is the moment where your purpose will be all along. I declare in Jesus' name, in Genesis 21, Y'all begin to type out your prayer request. After you share the broadcast, begin to type out your prayer request. And begin to call upon God like you never have before. Because something is about to take place in your life that never has before. Glory, glory, glory to God. <coughs> Hallelujah. Who I feel the presence of God so strong. Genesis 21. God had never visited Sarah. As a man before. Genesis 21. Abraham was sitting under the tree. And suddenly these men were walking to him. He knew immediately that it was God. And he recognized that he had stepped into a moment of visitation. Family, I want you to begin to type out your prayer request. And say, I thank God for. Hey, glory to God. I want you to say, I thank God for. <coughs> I want you to say, thank God for, somebody said this on the video, repeat seven times, praise God. I want you to say, I thank God for it. And I want you to type out your prayer request. And I want y'all to begin, after you pray for yourself, I want you to begin to pray for somebody else. As I release this last word over you uh, for the morning, and then I'm going to pray. I want to, I want to declare a blessing over you at the end and I'm almost done. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sarah was moving into a moment. Of mega divine visitation. Sarah was 90 years old. Sarah had been barren. Sarah had passed the age of childbirth. But Sarah was about to receive a double healing. Sarah was about to be healed from barrenness. Y'all begin to worship the Lord. He's here. Shoo. Holy Spirit, have your family. We have now counted 1,100 miracles. I believe that your moment has come. <coughs> Excuse me. We pray comfort for them running in Jesus' name. Sarah, Abraham received, Abraham recognized. Abraham recognized his moment. Yes, I'll be praying for you, private prayer request. Abraham recognized his moment. By the way, before I forget, family, who is on Instagram? We're now on Instagram. We're on Twitter. And of course, we're here on Facebook. We're releasing different content on all these platforms. And so if this word has blessed you today, before I say this blessing over you and pray over you, I want you to follow me on Instagram after the broadcast. Follow me on Instagram and follow me on Facebook right here on this page if this has blessed you. And follow me on Twitter. We're releasing different content. I'm doing this short little eight second videos every morning on Instagram. And it's a word of encouragement to you. So follow me on Instagram. Follow me here on Facebook. I do daily devotionals and weekly broadcasts. Follow me on Twitter. We're working. Follow me on YouTube as well. Agnes e. Betty on all social media handles. Hallelujah. We do, we're going to start doing broadcasts on YouTube every week. But right now we're un unlocking, we're, un we're loading these broadcasts on YouTube. But we're going to start the first of the year doing broadcasts, on one minute broadcasts on YouTube. So follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you have those accounts. So I want to pray for you this morning. Sarah, I'm almost done. Sarah, and can you all pray for one another? The Word of God says God gave Job double as he prayed for his friends. So I want you to scroll down this morning and I want you to take somebody's request and pray over their request after you pray for you. Say, God, we thank you for healing for Bria's body in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm almost done. Even right now, I want to declare over you. Nisa, remember that dream I had about you, about family restoration? 
I believe the Lord will bring it to pass in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm almost done this morning, but, Mary, but Sarah, after Abraham received, after Abraham recognized that he was in a moment of divine visitation, Abraham, they asked him, God asked Abraham, where is your wife? And the and God said to Abraham, Hey Sandy, love you. Yo, by the way, I'll be in Daytona, Florida in early of January. Feel free to message Sandy and follow her page and register for the bro for the for the event. I want to see if you're around the Daytona area. Hallelujah. Daytona, Florida. I think it's uh, around the eighth. Uh we'll be there. Hallelujah. God is good. So y'all begin to pray over one another. Pray for Bria's healing. Hallelujah. Keep praying. Yes, yes, yes. Keep praying. Keep praying over one another. The glory of God is so heavy. I'm almost done. Genesis 21. God visited Abraham. God is about to visit you. God said to Abraham, where is your wife? And then God said to Abraham, by this time next year, you're going to hold a baby. And Genesis 21 said, the Lord visited Sarah like he had said. The Lord gave unto Sarah like he had promised. Sarah conceived and gave birth at the set time. Family, as surely as the Lord my God lives, I prophesy in the authority of Jesus' powerful name that whatever it is, the mountain of impossibility, that you have been facing. Yes, thank you, uh, Susan. That as surely as the Lord lives, you shall receive your breakthrough. Can you all pray over one another? Pray over one another. Somebody say thank you, God, for HMS new job. Say thank you, God, for sharers. God giving purpose to be manifested. I want to see you all praying over one another. Hallelujah. Now, if you are sick in your body, Family, we have had probably over 600 healing testimonies just within the last year. If you are sick, yeah, that's right, Donna. Now, hallelujah. If you are sick in your body this morning, I want you to physically stand up. Unless you're driving. Don't do that if you're driving. <laughs> the cops pull you over. You say, well, the woman of God said to stand. No, I didn't if you were driving. If you are sick in your body this morning, if you can't, I want you to stand up. Thank you, Prophet Elaine. If you are sick in your body this morning, I want you to literally stand up. And after you stand up, I want you to type out, I'm standing, Agnes. Because it's, it's literally a physical agreement. You are coming into agreement with me because I believe within the next five minutes, you are going to be healed. So if you are sick, you all keep praying over one another. Hallelujah. Yes, keep praying over one another. If you are sick in your body this morning, I want you to stand up. Somebody has a crick in the neck. Somebody has uh, issues with chest pain. Hallelujah. Somebody has an issue with a tumor in your lungs. I don't know if it's a loved one. Somebody is suffering from heavy depression this morning. If you are sick in your body, I want you to stand up. If you're in any type of chronic pain, somebody has an issue with their teeth. Hallelujah. Somebody has really felt like a pain in your back, in your lower abdomen. There's a pain. Hallelujah. Yes, a lot of you are standing. Okay, now, I want you to try to do something you could not do, okay? Because a lot of times when Jesus worked a miracle in the scripture, he would tell them to do something they could not do. <clears throat> so the man with the withered hand, Jesus told him to stretch out his hand. So this morning right now, I want you to try to do something you could not do. Hallelujah. And if you are 80% or more better, I like to do this because I want you to know I'm not the healer. God is. And his power and his presence is here. So I believe about seven people are about to get healed here. Actually, seven people, excuse me, Lord, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I invite you, Jehovah Rapha. If you are sick in your body, I believe about seven people just got healed. Hallelujah. So, whew, somebody just felt the chest pain leave. Somebody has been having a heart palpitation. Somebody has an issue in their tailbone. Somebody who is hardening their tailbone. If any of the word of knowledge applies to you, I want you to type out it's me and I receive my healing. Hallelujah. Yeah, lower back pain. That's you, Linda. I lose the healing presence of God over you right now. If you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters, I am healed. Not if you are claiming it because we're counting. 
So I believe about seven people just got healed. And if you are if you are not believing for healing in your body, I want you to stay on and keep watching because I want to release a blessing over you at the end of the broadcast. Hallelujah. So right now, if you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out our capital letters. I am here. The person with eye floaters, right now I see clarity even coming to your vision. God bless you, Joanne. Hallelujah. Right now, I want you to try to move your knee, like move it back and forth. Make sure you're doing something. Now, I'm not just praying because I want to pray. I'm praying because every week for the last year and two months, every week we've seen people here. Ah, Rebos, I will pray for your daughter in a second, Coralie. But right now, I want you to do something you couldn't. Somebody, the pain just left your back. Okay, I just got, who the pain is leaving my back. Our back was hurting a little bit. If you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out our capital letters. I am healed. Test it out. Pat just got healed. Pat, tell us what God healed you from. One person just got healed. Thank you, Jesus. I believe the reason why I usually tell you all to testify is to get healed because when you testify, um, it, it actually it actually releases healing into the atmosphere. Hallelujah. So I'm gonna release a blessing over everybody else in a second. But one person already got healed. Y'all tested out one more time. I believe about six more just got healed. Glory to God. As a matter of fact, I believe about nine more just got healed. A couple of weeks ago, we had uh, 30 people get healed on the broadcast. So one person already got healed right now. I want to pray. I just declare clarity even in the eyes in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I command infirmity to go in Jesus' name. We stand upon the word of God. But by the stripes of Jesus, you were made whole. And right now, we loose the healing power of God. We command infirmity to go. We drive up the spirit of infirmity. Two people just got healed. Thank you, Lord. Three people just got healed. Praise you, Jesus. Go, robo, celeban, rebeki. We stand on the word of God that by the straps of Jesus, you were made whole. Hallelujah. Four people just got healed. I think five people just got healed. Six people just got healed. Praise you, Jesus. <coughs> we got six healings so far. Test it out one more time. Try to take a deep breath. Hallelujah. Six people just got healed. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep testing it out. Keep testing it out. Stay for about one more minute, and I want to declare a blessing over you as you begin your week. Glory to God. Six people already got healed. Test it out one more time, family. Make sure you don't leave the broadcast sick. Six people already got healed. <coughs> Excuse me. I actually see where about 10 more of you just got healed. About 10. Hey, Mike. Good morning. God bless you. Hallelujah. So <laughs> Somebody said they can stand on their fractured knee. Jesus, are y'all seeing that? Seven people just got healed. Somebody's knee was fractured. Shoo! Ha! Jesus. And they can stand. Are y'all seeing this? <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. Seven people just got healed. Y'all, the healing presence of God is so heavy on this broadcast right now. I'm going to stay for about three more minutes and then I want to release a blessing over you. So if you are sick, if you're able to stand, if you can't stand, I want you to try to stand, okay, as long as it's safe. I want you to try to stand. Try to stretch out your, try to stretch out your, your hand, uh, hand. Hallelujah. Seven people just got, somebody standing on the front. Did y'all see that? Glory. Now y'all know I'm not the healer, right? All the glory to God. I can't heal anybody. But God just did it, family. Somebody was not, somebody's leg was fractured and they're standing. Can you take a picture and send it to me? That person that sent that testimony, I want to see that. Ah, Toro Babo Seke. Hallelujah. We pray blessings and healing for Jackie in Jesus' name. Seven people just got here. Now, one more time. If you have not already testified, I'm believing for about 10 more this morning. One more time. Yes, minds are getting healed. Who eight people just got healed. Thank you, Jesus. One more time. Who I'm overwhelmed by that person that is standing on a leg that was fractured. Can we give him all the praise? Can we give him all the praise? God bless you, Katie and Bob. Can we give him all the praise? He is a healer. He is so worthy. He is so awesome. Hallelujah. Some of you, if you get healed on the replay, make sure you message me. 
Hallelujah. If you get healed and I didn't see your comment, send me a message. Send me a message with your prayer requests. Send me a message with your praise reports. Family, if you do not follow me on Instagram, I'm doing eight second videos every morning on Instagram to start off your day. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you follow me on Facebook, if, oh, if you would like to, hallelujah. Here, blah, blah, blah. So, yes, nine healings. We're going to take that. Your mind healed, hallelujah. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on YouTube, hallelujah. We're releasing content on all these platforms. Follow me on Twitter. Glory to God. Nine healings on this broadcast. We give you glory. Family, I want to hear from you this week. You can message me your testimonies. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. I want to prophesy a blessing over you as, yes, we give all the praise to God. Hey, Lori Henry. Love you, my sister. Lori and I used to work together. I love you. Thank you for watching us. I want to, I want to prophesy and pray a blessing for you as you begin your week. I prophesy in Jesus' mighty name that this you shall give birth to the impossible. I prophesy in Jesus' mind. I saw, I had a vision of a woman that was so pregnant. And so I declare in the authority of Jesus' name that the promise and the purpose that you're carrying, yes, we lose healing over your spine, Josie, in Jesus' name. It's going to happen suddenly. Message me when it happens. <clears throat> Hallelujah. I want to prophesy a blessing over you and I'll bless you and let you go. If you jump, joined us afterwards, we already have nine people here on the broadcast. Met, uh, share the broadcast. Hallelujah. I want to pray a blessing over you. I heard the Spirit of God say you are stepping into the most important aspect of your year. Because as we celebrate the birth of Jesus, there's about to be a birthing, a breakthrough coming upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare in the authority of Jesus' name, hallelujah, that as you step into the season of celebration, I declare Isaiah 9. Isaiah 9 says, nevertheless, there shall be no, excuse me, there shall be no more gloom. That's right, Katie and Bob. There shall be no more gloom. I declare that gloom is coming to an end. I declare that the spirit's coming to an end. He says, the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. I declare the light of God. I declare the breath of God. That the light of God is invading every possibility in your life to make it possible. I declare that God is increasing you. That God is enlarging you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that you are moving from weeping to reaping. That you're going to begin to reap a harvest. And the season of weeping is coming to an end. I declare that, declare that God will break the yoke. If you believe that this morning, I want you to be, start typing out an amen. And I'm almost done. One more minute. Hallelujah. Wow. Somebody got to heal their left eye. Praise you, God. Ten miracles. Hallelujah. Her surgery was canceled. Yeah, something just broke. Do y'all feel that? Hallelujah. I prophesy no more gloom. I prophesy that where you had walked in darkness, you shall now see great light. I prophesy that you are moving from weeping to reaping. In the name of Jesus. I declare that God will break open, that God will break the yoke that had burdened you. <clears throat> God will break the bars that was across your neck. I pray healing for your son in Jesus' name, the person that typed that up. Hallelujah. Verse 6, Isaiah 9 verse 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. I know it's talking about Jesus. But I also prophesy that you are about to give birth to your purpose. Amy, I prophesy you open doors of ministry. I feel I'm, I'm going to meet you next year. Hallelujah. The time has come, sister. We need to meet. I prophesy, hallelujah, that you are about to give birth. The word of God says, unto us a child is born in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Healing in ears. Yeah. Do you get healed or are you believing God? Message me, Bria. Let me know. I, he says, he shall be called. He says, unto us a child is born. He shall be called wonderful. I declare that what you are about to give birth to shall be wonderful. It shall be mighty. It shall be long lasting. It shall not suddenly be cut short. I prophesy that affliction shall not arise a second time. Everything that God has given to you. Everything that God has blessed you with. Hallelujah. Every promise that God has made to you shall come to pass suddenly. Even this season, I declare that this is your week. That's right, EJ. I declare that this is your week of unexpected blessings. I declare that you're stepping into a season of sudden surprises. And I declare in Jesus' name that this is your week of miracles. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.